Welcome back to the channel. Well, it looks like it's that time of year to start getting rid of leaves again. This year, instead of bagging them all up, uh, we recently got a John Deere S130, and uh, I wanted to take a look at uh, the two different methods of mulching. You can use a uh, mulching plug, it fits over the discharge, or you can use an insert kit which goes up inside the deck. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the two different methods and see which one works out best. So here's a tool that I want to point out to you. Um, if you own a lawn tractor and are serious about uh, sharpening blades and cleaning the underside of the deck, um, you'll be wondering why you didn't get one of these sooner if you don't have one. Uh, it's a jack. This one happens to be Mojack HDL. Um, rated at 500 pounds um, just to show you how it can be stored it's uh, it stores completely flat so uh, you can lean it up against a wall real easy to use and it, uh, it it's also uh, instrumental in putting this uh, uh, insert kit in uh, on the John Deere you don't have to take the deck off to uh, put that in either so uh, if you've got a lawn tractor uh, this is the way to go if you're going to use uh, John Deere blades uh, for mulching, um, the blade that comes stock on the uh, S130 is uh, what they call a three-in-one blade. It's got this uh, first cutting edge, you know, which is about three inches long and maybe two inches, of inch and a half, two inches uh, raised area for mulching. Um, it's got a little bit of lift on the back of the blade, so it does a pretty good job in mulching. Uh, but it's designed to do all three, just uh, straight shoot, uh, discharge, bagging, and mulching. The blade that comes with the uh, insert kit for mulching, uh, you get that along with the uh, insert. Uh, you can tell it's got a little bit more lift in the back. It's got a shorter edge for straight cutting, and then the uh, mulching area is uh, a little bit longer, probably three to four inches long. Uh, John Deere also makes a blade strictly for bagging and shoot discharge, which is straight all the way across and uh, is not uh, recommended to do any mulching. So this is the uh, mulching uh, cover for the uh, John Deere S130, uh, sometimes referred to as mulching plug. Um, there's been a little bit of an information lag in 2021 as far as getting part numbers for the uh, S-Series, uh, which was converted from the E-Series last year uh, with John Deere. So anyway, I'll put a part number down at the bottom of the a video clip for you. Um, obviously, I uh, didn't have to put the uh, tractor up on the jack in order to install the uh, plug, but I've got it up there in order to, uh, in order to uh, install the uh, uh, insert kit later on. So first thing you got to do with the John Deere, we got this uh, metal cover plate on the chute. You got to pull it out to lift it up and get it out of the way. And then what I do is I start on the right side, use this middle hole on the bracket in the front, and then this cutout at the top fits around the uh, hinge on the uh, covers. And then this channel at the bottom needs to be fairly clean in order to uh, uh, receive the uh, tabs uh, at the bottom of the uh, cover. Then on the left side, there's uh, two slots and we want to use the uh, slot in the back side. And that's all there is to it.
as you can see this is after the uh, first pass just went through it one time and it did a fairly good job with the uh, plug and the mulching blades I'll be interested uh, in comparing this to one pass with the uh, the uh, insert kit and see how that does but that's not too bad Okay, so that's after two passes with the uh, molting blades and the mulch plug. I'm pretty impressed. Um, I was thinking the uh, mulching kit is probably going to be the way to go. If it's uh, any better than this, it's, uh, it's going to be great. So uh, here's the uh, deck insert that uh, comes with the John Deere mulching kit. And uh, what it's uh, basically designed to do is uh, fill the void in the uh, discharge area of the deck and only allowing enough room for the blades to rotate hopefully providing a uh, better uh, mulching action um, now uh, i can't say for sure that this is the model that uh, ends up getting uh, associated with the uh, john deere s130 uh, like i mentioned before with the uh, information lag uh, to the best of my knowledge this is the one intended to, uh, for the use uh, on the uh, S130. Um, once again, I'll put the uh, part number uh, at the bottom of the video clip for you. So this is the end, uh, the chute area, uh, discharge area. It gives you a little bit of trouble. Uh, the other end uh, has a uh, carriage bolt that slides back and forth in the slot and that seems to fit perfectly. It uh, lines up uh, uh, real well with the uh, hole on the other side of the deck. So what the uh, instructions tell you to do, I've already taken off one blade. You don't need to remove both of them. Uh, I just kind of turned the back one, uh, the one on the other side, uh, sideways so it'll clear uh, going in. But it, uh, you will need to take off uh, the blade on the chute's uh, discharge side. Well, the instructions call for you to insert it through the discharge hole. This is where I need a little bit of uh, persuasion with a clamp. What I do is I use a clamp. On the left side to get it lined up a little bit better. it in as far as you can get it and then uh, use a rubber mallet to get it down in the uh, channel okay then on the far side of the uh, deck that carriage bolt comes with a wing nut and the carriage bolt slides back and forth you can see the hole maybe you can see that hole up in the deck so what you have to do get that lined up hopefully push it through reach around and get that wing nut on top so here's the uh, final product uh, after getting the uh, insert 
uh, installed. Um, isn't that bad a job? Uh, like I said, uh, if you use a little persuasion with that rubber mallet and you have to have a, uh, a clamp, it's going to be a, a lot easier. Okay, that was uh, one pass with the uh, mulching insert. I guess it's probably not a completely uh, even evaluation with the plug because uh, we left what was there left over from the plug uh, mulching yesterday. But uh, at any rate, this is what one pass with the uh, insert uh, looks like. Okay, that's uh, the result of the second uh, pass with the insert. Um, like I mentioned, uh, it was just yesterday that we filmed the uh, mulching with the uh, plug, and so there was some residue uh, already there. But it looks like it did a really nice job. With the uh, insert. Okay, in this um, somewhat limited comparison uh, in mulching with the John Deere S130, uh, by the way, that's a 42-inch deck, uh, using the uh, mulching cover plug and the uh, mulching insert, uh, I think uh, the insert probably did a little bit better job, uh, considering the fact that I think there was more leaves on the ground the day that uh, we did the insert, and there was still some residue uh, left over from the day before when we uh, did the uh, cover plug. Uh, but keep in mind uh, when you purchase the uh, insert kit uh, it includes uh, a set of uh, 42 inch mulching blades uh, which uh, are not included when you uh, purchase the plug. So as far as ease of use uh, obviously it's going to be a little bit easier to uh, install and remove the uh, cover plug. Uh, for instance uh, in the summertime if you're using it to uh, mulch grass um, and conditions get too wet or the grass gets a little long, uh, it's going to be a little bit easier to uh, be using the plug over the insert. Uh, this fall, um, I intend to keep the insert on uh, to uh, finish mulching all the leaves this fall uh, because I think it did do a little bit better job uh, with the leaves. So hopefully you found this uh, video helpful. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button and thanks for watching.